How's it going, everyone? My name is Potato, and welcome to another Grand Theft Auto Online video. Today, we're going to be going over, covering, talking about, and showing off my updated 2015 GTA Online Next Gen Garage Tour. I have not done a garage tour in a while, and if you guys actually uh, haven't been around my channel for a while now, uh, I did one around this time last year. You guys loved it, and I've been getting a lot of requests to do more. I also did one back in... Uh, summer 2014, but let's not waste any more of your guys' time and go ahead and get started. So I'm actually doing this live, and I'm recording with the Elgato software, and sometimes when you do live commentaries with the software, it, the audio quality sounds a, a bit distorted, so I do apologize for that if the quality isn't the best, but let's go ahead and start off over here with my Imponte Phoenix. Now, I tried to give it that Smokey and the Bandit look, if you guys have ever seen that film. I, I tried to go for that, as you can see, with the golden rims and just the, the, the black color on the car. I think it looks really cool, especially with that this this top, and I don't know the technical name for it, but uh, th this glass top uh, roof, I, I think it looks really nice and really sleek. Now, here is my Imponte Phoenix, This or excuse me, Ruiner. The other one was the Phoenix. This one looks really nice. I just changed it up. It's been blue and yellow. Actually, the, the Phoenix, the Ruiner, the Turbo right here, and my Sultan, they were blue and yellow forever. I actually just changed them up yesterday. I, I thought it was time to switch it up, but this car is really nice. I, I think the, the, the metallic purple looks really cool on this car and the white as well. And another cool feature on this car is my North Yankton license plate. So... I just think that is really cool. It's very unique, and uh, these are probably two of my favorite cars. Now, this one right here, it looks like a McDonald's car, but it's I've got I've got a lot of sentimental value uh, with this car because I've had it since October 1st, 2013, the first day that GTA Online actually came out. So, uh, this car is really nice. It used to be blue and yellow. I changed it up yesterday, gave it a metallic red color. And I think it looks pretty freaking cool. So, this car I've had since day one, and I'm probably going to keep it forever and always, just because it means a lot to me. It was the first ever car I had in online before I had anything else, and I'm still stuck with it today. I don't drive it much, but it's still cool to have. Now, here's my Sultan. This is probably my uh, least decked out car, I, I suppose, in my garage. It's just a, a metallic white, I believe. And uh, with, with blue rims, I, I don't know why I did that, but I, I think it looks pretty cool. Really nice car. I love the Sultan. Brings back a lot of memories from Grand Theft Auto 4. And there's really not anything special about it, as I said, aside from the blue rims. But uh, just a pretty cool car that I've had in my er, garage for a while now. Now, here is the Grotty Stinger GT, I believe. Yes. Now, there's a different variant of this car just called the Grotty Stinger. Uh, I believe, and it looks awesome, just every single detail about this car, I love. Now, there's not too much you can do customization, uh, feature-wise with this, but the interior, it looks great. It's got this cool engine in the back that you can actually see um, through the, 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 the back of the car in the back window. It looks really nice, like I said, really cool interior, uh, just a classic car, and it costs like $800,000, so... It does come in at a hefty price, but it is worth it, I would say. Now, here is my slam voice crack, my slam van, and I'm sick, by the way, so I apologize if I sound weird to you guys. Now, this is another really cool vehicle. This is actually part of a recent update in Grand Theft Auto V, and it looks really, really nice. I, I really like it. Interior looks great. This is actually another car from Grand Theft Auto IV, The Lost and Damned. And it's got a really, really cool uh, truck bed. I think the wood looks really nice. The wood grain and how everything just looks so new. And I'm more or less a big fan of classic cars, as you guys can tell by my garage. Uh, I'm not more of a, or I'm not one of those guys who love supercars and chrome supercars and adders and things like that. But I like the classic stuff. And here is my Vapid Peyote. Now, this one's really nice too. I, li I gave it that classic look, or at least I tried to, that 1950s. 60s-esque vintage look and I think it looks really nice one thing I've noticed though about this car uh, opposed to the last generation version is that Rockstar removed 
the dice feature, the fuzzy dice that actually would hang from the rear view mirror. So that's quite disappointing, but the interior of this car looks great. It's a classic, and see the Los Santos uh, little plaque I got going on there. The uh, the zebra stripe seats, I, I think that's a really cool feature in this little pimp mobile here, but uh, overall just a really cool car. Got the white wall tires on it, and it just looks amazing. It's one of my favorites. Now, this is the only supercar I own. It's my Zentorno. I bought it back when I think it came with a business update. I, I'm not entirely sure on that, but I bought it then, and I got this kind of... I had somebody say it looks like a Seattle Seahawks themed car. I never really had that intention. I actually modeled it after an old paintball gun I had and that was the color of it. It was an E-Tech Ego uh, 09 and it just looks really nice. I, I thought that color scheme looked great so I applied it to this car and it looks awesome. So metallic green, lime green and like metallic ultra blue I believe and it's just a really cool car. Now this one here is Franklin's car from single player. Now this I actually did back in like January 2014 a single player to multiplayer glitch to get this into GTA online because at the time that uh, I did this this car was not obtainable in online it was before Rockstar actually added it in and this is my carbon fiber car I like to call it because uh, everything on it is mainly carbon it, it, carbon fiber excuse me it's got a really cool interior but on the outside I've got this race yellow I've got carbon fiber wheels I've got carbon fiber skirts the bumper hood, roof, etc. And it's a really nice race car. Not too fast, but it just looks really, really cool in my opinion. Now, last but not least, we've got the JB700. Now, cool fact about this, this is actually modeled after the Aston Martin DB5, I believe it is. And it's in, in GTA 5, it's called the JB700, JB as in James Bond, and 700 007 backwards so that's a cool fact about that this car is modeled of course after that car from or that's so renowned from the James Bond series looks really nice on the outside unfortunately it is the decommissioned version so the guns do not work on it sadly nothing works on it but it's just a really nice car got a really really cool classic kind of interior to it uh, just really nice one of my all-time favorites it cost a lot of money as well I think this one was upwards of like six hundred thousand dollars so I've got a pretty pricey garage going on here not the best I, I guess you could say but it, it is my favorite this is my garage I also have a second one but I don't really have anything too important in that garage needless to say it's just some uh, lower end cars uh, of course these are just my top 10 selected best cars that I, I keep in my garage here so if you guys did enjoy the video in this garage tour and you'd like to see more like it, be sure to leave a like, of course, and definitely subscribe if you are new around here. That way you never miss out on an upload. And here's a quick overview of it in first-person mode. Um, you guys should check out my 2014 garage tour that I did last year, of course. I'll have it annotated on your screen just so you can see how the garage has kind of changed over the last few or, or over the last year. So uh, if you guys have any cool cars in your garage that you guys would like to see, let me see. Uh, feel free to tweet at me. Twitter link is down below in the description. But with all that said now the way, I believe that's just about it. You guys all take it easy, have a safe one, and I will talk to you later. Bye.